y'all hear me? Okay. Hi, my name is Haley Babish, and I am a junior at Ogallala High School. My empty stomach was once filled with almost, almost feeling a soft kick, reminding me of his presence, almost feeling my stomach grow into a watermelon. To miss Carrie, to miss Carrie is to almost hear room filled cries as a newborn reminds me of my upcoming responsibilities, almost watching him take his first steps, almost reassuring him when just being alive is hard enough, almost going on adventures that would progress him further in life, almost hugging him goodbye as he goes off to college, almost watching him say I do to the love of his life, almost watching him start a family of his own. But all these almost will never come true now, and the proof lies in the heavy droplets uniting with the water, a dark red color slowly dissipating against the expanding ripples, a once vibrant red gradually turning into a pale pink, and then to nothing like my almost. Drop by drop, the color no longer vanishes, but overcomes the water, consuming. I thought I had outgrown the pain and felt as though the vanishing was nothing but an illusion. All of a sudden, it rushes back to me, punching me in the stomach, leaving me on my bedroom floor crying, and my parents wondering why I'm acting like this. I wish I was acting. I wish as though none of this was true and I'd be holding my baby soon. But that's all he ever got to be, was an abundance of red droplets seeping out of my being. Today, the color red symbolizes a baby, my baby. How can the color look so delicate and alarming at the same time? The almost are endless, almost becoming an unexpected mother as a junior in high school, almost having everyone in the halls talk about me and stare at my belly as I grow bigger each day almost breaking down, but refusing to for the little life craving to live, almost being loathed by my family and friends, almost becoming the strongest individual I'd ever be. But the reality slapped me in the face. The sting rushes throughout my body as I learned to live in the reality of almost. His life just came and went in a vibrant color that is rare from the human body. I will forever cherish my almost baby even though life couldn't cherish him in the same way. But there is one thing that came from this, not almost. <sighs> I imagine what motherhood would be like. You see, most mothers would grumble as they trudge their way to a crying baby's room, whereas I would smile. I would be filled with glee to hear the sound of a crying baby. My baby crying would be the proof that I need to know he's here, he's alive. And he needs me. Keep it going for the power.